Hi, this is Mike Cuddy, and I'm here to talk to you about my latest project. This one is using a NASA API with the men stack using Mongo Express and Node. So it was a project at first that I didn't, when I started it, I didn't really know where I wanted to go with it. Um, it was just going to basically be a simple user sign-in thing doing basically nothing, and that wasn't very exciting to me. And I've actually been interested in APIs for quite a long time, and I've started to really play around with them, but... I was using them a lot of my Python Flask projects, and so I decided why not use the Python Flask projects to basically focus on doing data science aspects, and then over on the men stack, when I do that, I would basically use an API and do an API project or kind of combine APIs, and we'll see where we'll go with that. So yeah, this was a project that basically started with no direction, and I actually liked where it ended up. So it has a normal user sign-in screen that is the same, and I just have my generic name here. And we sign in, and it takes you to this page. So as it loads, I'm pulling all my images from uh, Unsplash, so hopefully it'll be working. Then if I can put in an address here and submit it. And basically, an image right there, yeah, it's basically essentially where I live in Beaufort, Georgia. It'll be like right there. So it's kind of an interesting thing. The image quality is not my fault. As I say there, that comes directly from NASA. So you can see satellite photos of a region. And then if I go over to this, this image page, it'll basically pull the image of the day. It's actually loading up. So as that loads up, I guess I'll just go talk to this code over here. Where... Uh, Here's the app.js file, and I actually kept a lot of my routes in this file, and I didn't really like that. But I started towards the end basically moving them right here and moving them more over into a controllers file over here. So that's something that I'll probably expand more on with uh, projects as I work on them more and more is to break up my code so I don't have all the code in one massive file, which I really hate. I mean, I really like like having my models separate uh, the modules with the asteroid.js to have that here. Where this was a module that I used in my app.js thing as well as the main.js, I believe. Yeah, right up there. So I really liked having separated things out. So uh, let's go back here. So we have this uh, thing. The picture of the day is not coming up. That sometimes happens with the API. I guess NASA doesn't put one out. So I guess I'll check back later. And if I go to Asteroid, this page... It basically tells you the near-Earth asteroids, and today there's eight. I think two days ago there was only three. Yesterday there were like 11. So it basically has this information box here, and it tells you a little bit, like the asteroid's name, the size, the distance, and the asteroid speed. It is responsive, so if I move this down, it'll all change, and that's all built with CSS Grid. So uh, I've really enjoyed using CSS Grid so far, and I really enjoyed building this right here. And then if I click on something here, you can go and click a link and it'll take you further to the asteroid. So if I click this, take me and this will tell you much more about the asteroid. The only aspect of this that I didn't like is I wanted the uh, pop-up, my module modal, to kind of uh, just display basically the uh, URL for the asteroid that I clicked on. And I couldn't figure out how to do that as of yet. And also I, I have yet to unclick the uh, box to turn it back green. So, yeah, that was a simple project, and as uh, it was just a simple API project, and I'll continue to work with these uh, APIs and probably start combining some and seeing what creative projects I can come up to. I noticed that before with Rails, one of the things that I got bored of doing it is I really kind of ran out of ideas for what I wanted to do with Rails. And with Flask, that just does not happen because I have constant just data that I could pull and make a project out of it and visualize it. But with this, I can actually... With working with APIs, I can really start to explore. And I actually learned a lot from doing this project, from learning how to use models. That's not Bootstrap. I created that all by myself, watching a video on YouTube that I really trust from Travity State Media. And everything in this project uh, really helped me understand how everything uh, works a lot well in Node. Like, this is the first time I ever used a module, a separate file like this. So that really kind of helped me to uh, dive in a little bit, understand how that how you call that as you can see yeah, the picture of the day is not coming up it really sucks because some of the pictures are really really spectacular and just really nice so that's it for this project and uh, my next one that i talk about should be 
a Flask project, or I may have a video tutorial on how to use a geocoder with Flask. So that's it for now.